So where all that comes from is this, uh, came from this song here called Angel Flight. Yeah. I wrote Angel Flight because I met these soldiers in uh, Germany, did this concert. Launch to Air Base. It's the worst concert I've ever given. They hated me. I was playing for 60 guys who just came out of uh, Iraq. And uh, it was a hospital cafeteria, no sound system or anything. And at one end of the cafeteria, there was a big table laid there with everything you would ever want on a sandwich. The other end of the table was me. No sound system, just playing songs about me. Didn't go well. They didn't like me. They weren't even listening. They weren't. They were talking. They weren't clapping along. At one point, not kidding, I ended a song, and all you heard was this, and it was some guy hitting on the mustard. <laughs> I was sitting there thinking, I don't have anything in common with these people. I don't like them, and I don't think they like me. I'm out of here. I was packing my guitar up, and this big Marine walks up to me. You know how in Bugs Bunny movies, how just before the anvil falls on the wild E. Coyote, like the shadow starts, because it's bigger and bigger and bigger. That's the way it started, man. I saw this shadow get bigger and bigger and bigger. And I looked up, there's this huge Marine standing there, and he goes, is that a Collings guitar? Which is, it was this guitar, and I go, yeah. And he goes, well, I haven't played one of those in about five years. And well, here, play this one. And I thought, if I handed it to him and he played it, because of course he's in uniform, so he can't play very well. But anyway, I'd hand it to him, and he would hold it while I got the rest of my gear packed up. Well, he proceeded to destroy just all over this guitar. Just, and everyone got really quiet, which was kind of hurtful. But, uh, <laughs> And uh, afterwards, I went, wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> how'd you learn to, I mean, how do you know about Collings guitars? And uh, he goes, uh, well, my brother-in-law plays them. And I said, oh, yeah. Is he a musician? He goes, yeah. He had a band. I said, yeah. What kind of band is it? And he goes, well, it's a Cajun band. And I was thinking, Collings guitars are pretty expensive. Fortunately, there's not too many successful Cajun bands. Uh, I said, uh, what's the name of the band? It was Beausoleil. And I went, your, brother's in, your brother-in-law's in Beausoleil? Is it David Doucette? And he goes, yeah. He goes, I said, that's your brother-in-law? He goes, yeah. I said, I know your brother-in-law. I've done gigs with those guys. And I was like, wow, that was weird, because I didn't think I had anything in common with anyone in this room. And I know your brother-in-law. That's weird. And he goes, yep. <laughs> and I said, so are you from southern Louisiana like those guys? And he goes, I'm from Louisiana, but I'm from Monroe. <laughs> Which is like saying, I'm from the other, better part of the world. <laughs> to him. I go, wow, when I was 22, I used to go play at this club in Monroe. It was like the first place I ever went and played on the road. Went and played at this place, and he goes, Enoch's. And I went, yeah, Enoch's. Wow, do you know the guy who ran it? He goes, Doyle. I said, yeah, do you know Doyle? He goes, yeah, Doyle was the best man at my wedding. <laughs> like, wow, and he pulls out his iPhone, and there's Doyle. Yep, that's Doyle. <laughs> so we start talking about songs and music and guitars and rock and buying guitars and a rock. He's like down there buying guitars and ouds and a rock and stuff. It's weird. I had a fantastic conversation with this guy, and I'd never talked to anyone in a uniform before on a good day. And, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. I've had my run-ins. And uh, we hatched this idea about writing songs with soldiers, you know. And uh, I tried to go to a rock. This guy's name was Fred Kale. Fred, Fred and I tried to get me into a rock to go write songs with people there. I don't know if you ever tried to get into a rock during a war. It's kind of complicated. It's weird. I mean, it's like it's easier to get out of New Jersey than it is to get into a rock. You know? But so it didn't work. But he hooked me up with these guys from the Texas National Guard. He said, "You should meet these guys. I know them. Should, they're cool. Maybe, maybe that." Uh, because what it is is, see, I write songs, and I want to write songs. And talking to Fred, I knew there was a song here, but I couldn't find the song. So I went and had lunch with the head of the Texas National Guard. And I'm 
sitting there at lunch, I'm thinking, this is a dumb idea, man. I have nothing in common with these people. They have nothing in common with me. Me and five guys in uniform. Usually those aren't good odds for Darby. <laughs> and at one point in the conversation, I said, you know, uh, my best high school buddy, he's in the Texas Guard. I was trying to, like, get my cred going or something, you know. And they go, yeah, what's his name? And I said, well, you know, it's, I don't know, 60,000 people in the Guard. I doubt you know him. And the head of the Guard goes, what's his name, son? <laughs> I said, that's Bo Kenyon. And they, all of them at once went, you know Bo? And I went, no. Do you know Bo? And the head of the Guard goes, yeah, Bo flies my helicopter. And I'm thinking, I wouldn't let that guy drive a lawnmower. <laughs> But then I knew there was a song here, but I couldn't find it. So I started going up to the, the National Guard base and having meetings with different people, like you know, just in the Texas Guard. I'd sit down and have meetings with them. We just talk about what was going on. I really got, I liked these people. I liked them a lot. I mean, they were cool. They had this amazing purpose in their life. And at one of the, I, I went to three different meetings. So for three months, I would go up there and have these meetings once a month. I'd just sit around the table and talk for a couple hours. And, and finally, at one of them, this guy said, Angel Flight. He said the word Angel Flight. He was talking about something else. And I went, whoa, 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 Angel Flight. That's a fantastic song title. What's an Angel Flight? And he said, oh, when a soldier dies, they fly his body home. And I went, that's our song. <laughs> All I ever wanted to do was fly Leave this world and live in the sky Lift the C-130 out of Fort Worth town I'll go up some days, I don't want to come down Fly that plane Call the angel flight Come on, brother, you're with me tonight Between heaven and earth You're never alone On the angel flight Come on, brother, take me home It's quiet, stars are bright Feels kind of like church here tonight It don't matter where we touch down On the angel flight, sacred ground Got a hero riding first tonight. 